Who's first? Who's first? Who's first? Four impressions of the guys uh, one day in pads. Um, we got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Um, um, our guys were competing. We went out and competed, and uh, but fundamentally, uh, not where we want to be, and we got to continue to work on those things, especially once we get in the pads. Surprising where they were, how much work you have ahead of you, or about on track? Uh, about on track, you know, it's spring ball. And, I mean, the guys know how to play. There's a lot of learning going on right now, so um, they're learning. And uh, throughout the process of learning, you can't take away from the techniques and fundamentals of getting the job done. So um, we got to constantly preach that and teach that and, and then expect the result behind it. Coach, any tweaks you made from last year when you implemented things in Oregon that maybe you don't do things now? Well, just. Uh, I wouldn't say necessarily a lot of tweaks, to just, uh, just going through the process and making sure our guys understand how it all works. You know, um, but once you learn the, the foundation of what we're doing, then everything else we want to do with it comes off of that. And, and so we're trying to teach our guys uh, the foundation of what we're doing offensively, defensively, and special teams. And then we can add a lot of things and see how things add on to the Coach, to add to that, how much game film do you watch from last year to kind of help tweak those mistakes? Um, we watched game film last year. Actually, just watch the guys play, see how they play, and, uh, and see what we're working with. You know, a lot of that film is not going to help us from a schematic standpoint because uh, we're doing things a little differently. I shouldn't say differently. Everybody runs the same plays. We just call them call them something different. But uh, uh, but it's a different way of teaching and, and a different way of going about operating. So. Uh, it's different from that standpoint. And we watched them from last year either to watch our opponents or you know, watch our guys and seeing who can do what. How have you seen the offensive line adjust to the tempo of the new offense? They're coming. They're coming. They're not there yet. Um, we got to get in the football, football shape. Um, we're running around all the time. And uh, again, we didn't expect that to just happen overnight. It's going to come in time. But um, they're getting there. Again, as they understand the offense a lot better. Um, they they even execute a lot better and, and, and run around like we needed to. We talked to Landon Dickerson, and he was saying that because of the changes to coaching staff, nobody's really got a leg up on anybody else. But just because you played, do you like the way that the older guys have embraced that? Oh, absolutely. You know, those guys. I, mean, I think they all want it that way. You know, when they decide to come to Florida State, that's that's what happens when you come here. You got to come ready to play every single day, and, and the best man going to win. You know, and. Uh, all the kids they want to play, they want an opportunity, so they're all going to get it, and it's on them to do something in order to uh, play for us. Can you speak about him a little bit, what you saw on tape from him as a player? Um, well, I'm a land young kid, a lot of potential. Uh, he'd be really good. I, I really like his leadership style. From since, since I've been here, he's been one of the guys that speak up and, and, and talk and, and try to get guys to do the right things. Um, as a coach, you love him when you have a guy that Willing to sit back and allow things just to go the opposite way. And he's one of these guys that uh, has bought in and can help the football team. Coach, Dontavious Jackson said he has a new, you know, a new energy. Um, how have you seen a him? A new who? A, a new energy oh. uh, for, for practice. Just what have you seen from him so far? Um, he's very athletic. He, he's, he's running around pretty good and uh, uh, he's making some plays. He's making some plays on defense. Uh, Again, he's, he's learning too, but you can see he's, he's flying around. He's having fun. I mean, not just here in spring ball, but throughout the chase and all. He's been one of the kids that's having fun competing and, and excited about what's going on. Coach, how has the team adapted to the speed and the energy of these practices? Um, I, th I, I think they're, they're adapting well. Again, it's, with all the, the learning that's going on, and then we're asking these guys to run around as much as we are and as fast as we tell them to. Um, I think they are uh, picking it up pretty quick. And, um, uh, doing a good job, like I say, we're not where we need to be, but uh, uh, we're going to continue to work on getting better. Coach, with the music going on in the background, does it ever get in the way of you communicating with the players and instructing uh, them? Is no. it maybe too loud at times? Or? No, if it was, uh, we wouldn't have it up that loud. Mm -hmm. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, those kids walk around with the headphones all day and they're pretty focused, <laughs> you know, and playing games on Saturday is never quiet in the, in the stadium, mm -hmm. you know, so... Uh, I don't think that's ever a factor for us. And there's times where we have the music up loud. Sometimes we just have it kind of mellow, you know. But uh, there's a lot of teaching going on and, and a lot of learning going on. And, and 
again, we're not going to need to yell or anything. We just need to continue to teach, you know, teach in meetings, teach, teach an individual, and mm -hmm. let the guys go out and play and, and let them communicate. I'd rather them communicate with each other than us communicate with them because we're not on the field when they're playing. Mm -hmm. How have you seen Jaden and Amari kind of adapt to what's expected of them in the college practice? Then? Say it again. How have you seen Jaden and Amari kind of adapt to what's expected of them in college practice? Mm -hmm. Um, Pretty good. I mean, well, I say pretty good. We, we still got to teach the young lads. Uh, you know, just because we have a full pad doesn't mean we tackle. Those two guys are out there tackling every opportunity they, they get. And, uh, it, was, it was good to see, but um, you don't want them doing it when we're not tackling. But um, it was good to see that those kids, they're not afraid. Uh, they, they love contact, and uh, that's going to help. How good a sign is that? Do you have to almost kind of tell them to slow down a little bit? Uh, I'd rather I'm telling them to slow down than try to speed up. We want to go fast all the time and physical all the time. And, um, and just have it in them, so we don't want to take that away from them. Coach, it's been a week since uh, spring practice started. You got any dudes out here? You got any war daddies? You ready to uh, uh, anoint yet? No, we ain't gonna anoint it yet. You know, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta do something, not just overnight, not in one week, mm -hmm. you know, over time. What, what, was your, more. what was your reaction? One more, I gotta go. What was your reaction, Coach, when Demarcus Christmas told you he was coming back? How significant was, was him returning? I was like, Merry Christmas to me. In Florida State University? No, I'm just playing. Um, I was really excited. You know, it, it's a kid that I tried to recruit out of high school and uh, got to know. And the kid went to the same high school that I went to. And uh, so that's always special to have a kid from the same high school. But uh, I'm a good football player, too, to, to help our football team uh, to, to continue uh, to work to get better. You know, and I'm happy for him. Um, for him to come back and, and continue to get better and hopefully put himself in a great position where he can get all the things that he wanted to get accomplished um, academically and, and football-wise. All right, thank you.